Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Eleanor and today I'm doing a review of Pyramids by Terry Pratchett. This is the seventh Disco World novel. If you watched my channel goals and reading plans video for 2021, you'll know that I'm aiming to read one Terry Pratchett novel a month in 2021 in my aim to complete the Disco World series. I've read a few of the books already, but there's 41, so I have a ways to go. Um, and this was just a challenge to encourage me to pick them up because I have most of the Disco World books on my Kindle um, and a few behind me in paperback and I just want to kind of finish the world, finish the world, finish the Disco World series because I really enjoy Ted Pratchett's writing, his cookie fantasy comedy world is really excellently made and they're just great fun and I wanted to make that go for myself. So that started with Pyramids. I'm not reading them all books 1 to 41 because as I've said, I've read a few, so I'm picking all the ones I've missed and reading them in that order, but the ones I've missed, if that made any sense. So Pyramids is basically, you're following Tepic, who at the start of the book is a young boy. He's sent off by his father, the king, he's a prince, and he's sent off to assassin school, and he is trained to become an assassin. I've read a couple of Discord books that have assassin have had assassins in them, I can't speak, but they've always been adults and they've always been like working. So it was really interesting to see um, through Tepic's eyes what assassin training and assassin school is like. Um, but really weird, really funny and I just enjoyed that experience and the kind of the world building. It's very much about stealth and like parkour and using all these weird tools to infiltrate places and like kill people and things like that um, and their training just seemed very interesting and I liked the way it was written, it was a good portion at the beginning of the book. Um, sometimes it jumps back in time a little bit um, to him training because it mostly follows from when he's older so sometimes he has flashbacks from back when he was younger and doing certain training exercises and then it flashes to present tense where there's something's happened in his um, kind of Egyptian-esque kingdom, there's problems in the kingdom and Tepic has to go back and become basically king, the pharaoh, um, and this kingdom everything is like hugely amplified so everything you think about like the way Egyptian culture used to be and um, this is like done to 10,000% they're obsessed with pyramids, obsessed, obsessed with mummification and obsessed with like upholding like the gods and all those religious practices so everything's just kind of amplified to the extreme the whole story is centered around Tepic getting this pyramid built for his dad and it's like the biggest and best pyramid that's ever been built and then problems ensue because this is what old um this kingdom of the sun that Tepic's now king of um is overrun with pyramids and bad things start to happen there's a lot of weird strange cookie characters in this um and they all have very obvious roles um and it's just, it's just really funny. I mean, I don't want to say too much more because then you lead into spoiler territory. But if you can mesh with Terry Pratchett's writing and you like kind of comedic things in a kind of fantastical setting, these books are great, so good. Um, and there's even like the inclusion that, um, this might be a wee spoiler, um, that the camels are the most intelligent beings in the universe. So every now and again you get some thoughts and perspectives from the camels, which is utterly ridiculous. <laughs> Tay Patch is really good at writing characters. Each character is very unique, has their own voice and personality, and they're very consistent the way through. And it's just so clear what everyone's purpose is. And I just think it's very well done. In the end, it really is just a 341 page book of Terry Pratchett taking the mick out of Egyptian history. And it was great fun. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> it's so hard to talk about some Terry Pratchett books because unless you understand anything about the Discworld and anything about these characters, a lot of what I would could say wouldn't make sense. But I really enjoyed the scenes in Assassin's School. I thought the kind of Kingdom of the Sun, the Egyptian aspect, I cannot pronounce the name of it at all, <laughs> um, was really cleverly built. and. I, I like seeing the Disco Road from a different perspective. As I said before, I've read books, about 14 books previously, um, but they've all been centred around very specific areas. Um, so it was nice to see a whole different 
section of the Discworld with different characters, um, with diff different, with hugely differing goals, and yeah, it's just good fun, um, and you can't put them down. Let me know if you've read any Terry Pratchett novels, which one's your favourite, or if you ever intend to read Terry Pratchett. I know he's not for everyone, um, and if you are interested in getting into Terry Pratchett, um, let me know because starting with the first book isn't the way to go. <laughs> Thank you for watching, please be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!